inspired by itself and has also inspired others to help them get revived. There is a self-inspiration of India which has been embedded in us, in us for centuries in the form of Sangakshatvam, Sangvaratvam, that is, may we all go together, let us all move together. Friends, this government is action driven and believes in tackling the problem head on. Right from the start, our government has taken various steps to mitigate the adverse impacts of COVID-19 pandemic. The financial packages that the government has released have had wide-ranging and far-reaching impact. Commencing with the initiative on 26 March 2020, a rupee 1.7 lakh crore package was announced, which focused on providing immediate relief to the poor, migrant, and both urban and the rural workers also. It included food security and direct cash transfer. In May this year, a follow-up 20 lakh crore package addressed a number of challenges faced by the country. The focus of this initiative also aimed to provide a major impetus to the Arthur Nervar Bharat initiative. As you are aware, it included collateral free loans, relief for salary taxpayers, workers and other stressed businesses. Government contracts up to rupees 200 crores were limited to only domestic forms. Nearly 81 lakh MSMEs have taken advantage of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's emergency credit line guarantee scheme under the AAP and Nervar Bharat package. While special attention was given to MSME sector as they needed extra support, at the same time, several important policy decisions were also taken to incentivize big businesses. Soon after the nationwide lockdown, which ought to have a negative impact on the economy, the doom shares started making prophecies of doom. It was said that it would take more than one or two years for India to reverse the 23.9% contraction in our gross domestic product that we witnessed in the first quarter of this financial year. But once again, they were proved wrong. India bounced back, bounced back, back in no time. In the second quarter, the Indian economy registered a 7.5% contraction in its gross domestic product. And it was a significant improvement over the 23.9% contraction that we witnessed in the first quarter. 